there, welcome to Junior and Senior High Devotions. Hope you've had a great week and we are continuing with our look at pieces of our worship service. Last week, we started out with our confession and forgiveness and this week we're on to two very cool little pieces. They're shorter, but they have a lot of impact on us. The first one is called the Apostolic Greeting and it's very short. It's something you can learn by heart and it's this. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And then the congregation responds, and also with you. That first part is said usually by the pastor. Now, where does this come from? It comes right out of Scripture. It comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. And that's a great point to say that a lot of the things we're going to be talking about um, we didn't just write them down or write them down because they sound pretty or anything like that. We have them because they were given to us in scripture. And that greeting, the apostolic greeting, is an important thing um, where we're saying these words together and oftentimes the person giving that greeting, the pastor will open their hands out wide uh, so that it's a greeting for everyone. And it grounds us in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, exactly why. Why we're gathering to worship. This is still part of our gathering section. Like our confession and forgiveness, we usually sing a song too. We're getting all together. We're getting ready, gathering to hear the word of God and then celebrate the meal together. So that greeting helps us to center our worship around what we worship, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then we move on to our prayer of the day. Now, since it's the prayer of the day, it's different for every Sunday. And so we have a special reason why we do that is so that it connects really well with the different things we're talking about. And so this prayer of the day is a summary of what's going on. It might have an emphasis of just those gospel lessons that are being read, the gospel lesson that's being read. It might just center around the first lesson or even something about the season, but it um, will help us know what to focus on during worship. And our prayer of the day for this Sunday is really special because it has words and phrases from each of our scripture lessons, not our psalm lesson, but it does have from our first lesson, our second lesson, and our gospel lesson. So here is our prayer of the day for this Sunday. Holy and righteous God, you are the author of life and you adopt us to be your children. Fill us with your words of life that we may live as witnesses to the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so we'll pray that prayer in worship, and then we'll hear the lessons. The first lesson is from Acts chapter 3, and it has the phrase, phrase author of life in it. And we'll learn more about what that phrase means by listening to scripture. Then in our second lesson from 1 John, we hear about being the children of God. And so we heard in our prayer, adopt us to be your children. And then in our gospel lesson, it ends with the idea that we are the witnesses to God's resurrection. And so we have that in our prayer of the day that we may live as witnesses to the resurrection of your son. And each of those lessons is about the resurrection of Jesus and telling people about it and spreading that good news. And in our prayer of the day, we have that point that there are parts of each of those lessons that are very important to us and it takes it all together to get us focused uh, and to give thanks to God for those wonderful lessons for the scripture that comes to us and for what that means in our life. That God is the author of our life, that God has adopted us to be God's children and that we may live as witnesses. It sums it up in a nice, tight little package. So our apostolic greeting calls us together and unifies us around God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it's a greeting. It's a, all right, we are together and it's time to worship. And then we continue right into our prayer of the day, which gives us a focus special to that day. And so we are going to say a special prayer of the day for that third Sunday of Easter that we're celebrating today. Uh, and we always use that greeting to ground us in worship for 
God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that's just a little bit on our section of worship today, the apostolic greeting and the prayer of the day, why we do them, and what they're all about. So that was our lesson for today. To end, I'm going to read our prayer of the day one more time, and you can listen for it in worship. And again, listen for the phrases that match up with our first, second, and our gospel reading. So let us pray. Holy and righteous God, you are the author of life, and you adopt us to be your children. Fill us with your words of life that we may live as witnesses to the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, we'll be back with more about our worship service next week. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you again soon.